We roam the forest and the hills around our homes, collecting wild flowers, making garlands of joy. gives us more than crops it gives us minerals which help our existence the blacksmith has been there for more than 2000 years iron and steel are a part of our daily lives in the village the town the city After independence, in the public sector, India built integrated steel plants at Raurkela, Bhilai, Durgapur, Bokaro, and now Vishakhapatnam. The Vishakhapatnam steel plant is located 25 kilometers from the city of Vishakhapatnam on the shores of the Bay of Bengal. Work on the steel plant began in 1982. The construction of the steel plant generated a great deal of employment. When the process of industrialization was accelerated after independence, it was not realized how quickly and effectively the Indian villager or laborer would adapt to modern methods to meet the demands of technology. It is to the credit of Indian designers and engineers that this huge and complex plant is to a great extent conceived and executed by our own people. The Vishakhapatnam steel plant, or VSP in common parlance, is thus a major instance of our increasing self-reliance. Some of the components for the coke oven and the blast furnace were imported from the Soviet Union. Russian engineers worked together with their Indian counterparts in a fruitful collaboration. The fact that Vishakhapatnam port is so near helps in the import of equipment and will ultimately be handy for the export of the plant's products. With some imported and many more indigenous equipments, the construction work 
has been done over a large area, erecting tall chimneys and structures, building long conveyor belts, assembling complicated machinery, and installing sophisticated instrumentation panels. In such a complex steel plant, possession of the designs is not enough. It is often not appreciated that the process of translating a concept from the design board to actual fabrication and erection is a most difficult task. It requires total involvement and considerable practical experience. The plant has its own thermal power station. It went into operation in 1988. Coke ovens were among the first units to be constructed in this integrated steel plant. Initially, tons and tons of refractory bricks and other equipment were assembled. Then the oven batteries were built row after row, carefully laying brick over brick, and then the other equipment was erected. Erecting equipment for the construction of VSP sophisticated Sinter plant was another major challenge. Modern technology for the base mix blending has been provided. VSP Sinter plant can also boast of its comprehensive de-dusting and pollution control measures. A Jeep driver remembers his past as a farmer. That is where my field used to be, where the steel plant is now. As a farmer, my life was hard, but now I have a decent place to live and a good job. I was a displaced person. Today I live in a rehabilitation colony and work at the plant. Let us listen to another employee of the steel plant. Fishing was a joy. Sometimes I wish I had the pleasure of being a fisherman again. Oh yes, it's a natural part of displaced persons to be apprehensive about the changes that, that, that are taking place. Setting up of a steel plant is an event in itself. We are very sensitive to the problems of displaced persons. We are paid adequate compensation due to the displaced persons. We have provided infrastructural facilities and organizational support for the rehabilitation colonies of the displaced persons. And rehabilitation colonies numbering four have come up with moderate civic amenities. So far as employment to the displaced person is concerned, we have relaxed AS criterion, we have relaxed education criterion, and we have organized special training for the displaced persons. VSP has built India's largest blast furnace. This blast furnace has a circular cast house with facilities for slag granulation. and sprawling blast furnace complex has many technological advantages and state-of-the-art instrumentation and control panels have been provided here. And in 
industry of gigantic nature like the steel plant comes up, there is bound to be problem of deforestation and deforestation is going to create problem of ecology. Not only that, there will be a problem of industrial pollution too. This is going to create environmental problem. Can there be any way out to solve these hazards? In an integrated steel plant, pollution is normally caused by air and water. Air, I mean the emissions that are let out into the air. At VSP, we treat all these emissions through electrostatic filters and also resorting to certain modern technologies in the process itself. Coming to the water pollution, we have a closed loop recycling system that would let only 0.2% of our total water that is circulated within the plant into the natural river courses. Well, no doubt when uh, you are starting a steel plant of this magnitude, there will be some cutting of the trees and to that extent I agree some marginal loss has taken place to the ecology. But then we have been very conscious right from the beginning when we started the project about this and a very massive opposition program we have started with a missionary zeal. We have planted more than 17 lakhs of trees over an area of uh, more than 2,500 acres in Visaka Patam Estate project by now. In the, our infrastructure program, we have included a very good admixture of all types of trees, including the native, exotic, and food bearing trees. Our program of afforestation is on, and we are going towards our target of 3 million trees over an area of 8,500 acres. This will result in giving a total green cover over 30% of our land. To return to the steel plant, a major challenging task was the construction of the steel milking shop. The three top-blown LD converters, each of 133 cubic meters volume, will produce a total of 3 million metric tons of liquid steel per annum. Facilities for 100% continuous casting have been provided. Further, blooms and billets would be rolled into various finished products. In the light and medium merchant mill, the wire rod mill, and the medium merchant and structural mill. From the beginning, planning at VSP included not only technology, but the human factor so vital to the success of any project. VSP has its own township of 8,000 houses with all civic facilities, including dispensaries, a full-fledged hospital, markets, schools, canteens, sports facilities and many amenities which go towards improving the quality of life. A happy worker is a good worker. At Jagayapetta and Madharam in Andhra Pradesh, two captive mines have been set up. These mines meet the vital limestone and dolomite requirements of the plant. High productivity and modern mining technology are distinct features of VSP's casting mines. The raw materials handling system 
deals with coking coal, limestone, manganese, dolomite, and iron ore, and some of the major raw materials required for the production of iron and steel. The requirements at VSP are met by various mines located in the states of Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Orissa and Andhra Pradesh. converted into coke by heating the coal blend at a temperature of 4,250 degrees centigrade for 16 to 18 hours. The pusher car for leveling the coal charged into the oven removes and replaces the oven door on the pusher side and pushes out the coke from the oven on the other side. The red hot coke at 1000 degrees centigrade is dried by a coke dry cooling plant by using nitrogen gas as the cooling medium. This method of dry cooling of coke, besides being a secondary energy recovery system, also improves coke quality and reduces atmospheric pollution. The gas from the coke oven yields valuable coal chemicals such as tar products, benzol products and ammonia products. For instance, one of the important byproducts is ammonium sulphate, which is in demand as a fertilizer in agriculture. Iron ore fines, coke breeze, limestone, and dolomite, along with recycled metallurgical wastes, are converted into an agglomerated mass at the Sinter plant, which forms 80% of iron bearing charging in the blast furnace. The blast furnace is provided with many advanced technological features in the field of iron making, such as conveyor charging bellless top equipment, pressure recovery turbine for energy saving, cast house slag granulation, and a large number of process computers. of Vizagapatnam steel plant is the biggest in our country and one of the biggest in the world. It has a capacity of 3,200 cubic meters to produce 4,860 tons a day. This blast furnace has been supplied to us by the USSR and all its auxiliaries also have been supplied to a great extent by them. This blast furnace has got a lot of technological features. They are very new to our country, but are also not available in plenty in the rest of the part of the world. The first blast furnace was blown in by one of VSP's oldest employees in March of 1990. The raw material is charged through the unique bellless top of the blast furnace. Iron is made in the blast furnace by smelting iron bearing materials with the help of coke and air. The solid charge materials such as sinter, sized iron ore, coke, etc. are charged in the vertical shaft of the blast furnace at the top and a blast of hot air is blown through the tuyeres located at the bottom. Years of dedicated work by Indian and foreign consultants and engineers, contracting agencies and the local labor force have gone into building this gigantic blast furnace. The liquid slag, after granulation, is collected in the receiving bin from where it is lifted and transferred to a rotary dehydrator.
The slag is then transported through conveyors to the slag storage yard and dispatched after it is sold. Slag is used in the manufacture of cement. The furnace is supported by a large number of auxiliary units such as the pig casting machine. The metal delivered by the furnace at around 1400 degrees centigrade, which is known as hot metal, when converted into solid form, is called pig iron. There are four pig casting machines. Each machine can cast 162 tons per hour. The pigs are collected in wagons and are stored in the pig storage yard, awaiting sale and transportation. Work at VSP continues round the clock in three shifts to meet the critical need for iron and steel products in the country. A happy occasion for everyone at VSP was the dawn of the 3rd of May 1990. The Prime Minister, Mr. V.P. Singh, came to dedicate the first blast furnace to the service of the nation. I dedicate the blast furnace Godavari to the country and the nation. P.S. Krishnan, General Manager Works, asks V.I. Saladkov, Chief Soviet Expert, how he feels about VSP. We are happy that the jobs have been completed to the satisfaction of all the people concerned, and the blast furnace has been commissioned and coke oven plant is working satisfactorily. The success of our plant will crucially depend upon the kind of work culture we establish here. We have already achieved substantial success in establishing a productive work culture. Our workmen have adopted multi-skilled and flexible approach to work at the shop door. Human resource development and training and participation of workmen in all shop related issues are some of our priorities. By taking professional, personal and human resource development initiatives, we hope to establish a work culture which will help us achieve international levels of efficiency and productivity. We are also looking after the displaced persons and the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and we hope to play a responsible role in the development of Andhra Pradesh and the country as a whole. VSP emphasizes multi-skilled training, technical competence, improving management methods and the developing of positive attitudes towards all forms of work. By 1990, several shops of the steel plant had already been commissioned. The steel melting shop has a highly sophisticated computerized control room. Steel is made in refractory lined vessels called LD converters by blowing oxygen through the hot metal bath. While iron making is a reduction process, Steel making is an oxidization process. The liquid steel that is formed is poured into ladles and cast into blooms in the continuous casting machines.
the blooms are heated and rolled into different shapes of saleable products in the rolling mill. The high-speed rolling mills have computerized controls. The light and medium merchant mill has a capacity of 710,000 tons per year. The wire rod mill has a yearly capacity of 850,000 tons. meeting the quality standard of the world class, this steel plant has been provided with modern equipments of analysis, testing and inspection at the various area laboratories as well as the central laboratory. The philosophy of quality control function lies in the total quality management. I am very happy with the Certificate of Merit given to me for my work. Maintenance being a men-oriented field, I was not confident at all when I joined for this department. But these modern instruments and encouragement from my colleagues, I, feel, I found the job is quite challenging. My job is not only in telecommunications. I have an opportunity to learn so many other things. I looked for a job, I found it, and I am happy here. I am a part of this wonderful steel plant, and this gives me satisfaction. Marketing 3 million ton steel products is a big job by itself. To meet this requirement, VSP decided to have its own retail outlets. In the course of its history, VSP has been fortunate to have had a number of enlightened and far-sighted chairman and managing directors. Construction, commissioning and operation of the Vishakhapatnam steel plant has been a very challenging experience for all of us. It is not a question of building another steel plant, but building an institution with new work culture, with new productivity, high productivity norms, high quality and environmental control. This unique pride of place goes to Visakhapatnam steel plant, to all its officers and workmen. In the very first year of its operation, that is the financial year 1991, Visakhapatnam steel project has been able to achieve more or less all the targets it set for itself in the production units. Visakhapatnam steel project would be the first trend setter in the entire steel industry in the country. The very existence of VSP will stimulate the growth of ancillary industries. Stage one of VSP is now complete. Work on stage two is well on its way. The three million ton Vishakhapatnam steel plant will set a whole new trend in the Indian steel industry. With its high productivity and quality, 
the plant will render significant service for the further growth and development of the Indian economy.